Today we're going to replace the radiator on my Dodge Ram 1500 and since we will be in there uh, this has a sloppy steering I don't know if you heard about it but it's right down there some the part that I need to change so I don't need to change I just need to uh, screw you see how it works the radiator is right here the new one and that one gotta go I got this bucket at O'Reilly's where I'm going to put all the coolant that comes out of out of there so we need to uh, drain that out of here let's see how it works okay so first we need to remove this here and the way we do this you just pull it up there you go it comes right off and pull out out of here and we are good so this is out of the car uh, it might have uh, there is one screw right here here and one right down there so we're gonna release both All right, bottom one is loose, this one is loose. Let's take this out of here. All right, so this is out. Let's go to the other side. I already disconnected this hose, but basically this is here. Um, you just get a, like a pair of pliers like this, right? So you squeeze that thing and just pull it out. I'm holding the camera so it's not very easy right now. But mine is out. Uh, there is some coolant in there. Ideally, uh, you should disconnect the battery. So you're going to do that too. There we go. I don't want to accidentally uh, drop water in the connectors and have a short I'm trying to fix the truck and not break it so now on the other side we need to remove let me put back my gloves we need to remove uh, this here and this here what happens is sometimes this doesn't come out come out is just pull it up right but sometimes it doesn't come out that easy because the bottom part needs to be disassembled oh shoots too late Apparent, apparently this is dangerous um, and animals will lick it and they might die or something like that so release the boat that's right down there so you can reach from the front of the car this has so much space i'm gonna just release a little bit it's like a little clamp pull it up and that's it this is here um, let me take this out of here This is the uh, window washer. I'm gonna just put it here somewhere in the car. And take the top screw and the bottom screw. So I'm freeing this part here, which is this, uh, it will expose the fan. Before we finish this, we need to take the fan out of there. So. Can you see, I'm gonna show, well, let me show you the problem. And uh, so you understand and of course, all 
All right, got it. For some reason, it just had one bolt on the top. And this, I need to take that out. And if you look here, you see the fan right here. And I can't take this out. It's about to get ugly now. There you go. There you go. So while this is draining, uh, we are going to remove this screw here. I tried to make this during the day, but it wasn't possible. There are some other attachments I need to remove, which is this one here, where the light is right now, and another one from the bottom. The bottom one, I'm not quite sure how to, but we'll figure it out. I will not give up. here now the other side so it's right here so this is all that holds this thing in place It's for sure a long screw. All right, got it. So now this is off. It's completely loose, except for this side here, which has some stuff that's still attached. This is one. Uh, I'm gonna lose get this loose in here so we hold that there and oh yes I think I did it there you go So I just want to hold this here and take that out and put some light in there. There you go. One down. And now the last one is that guy down there let me see if you can yes uh, little baby 
this year. Not quite. Okay, so now we are going to remove this guy, which is the last one. So I'm gonna make this thing here loose. Oh, this one is extremely hard. Like crazy tonight. Try to get my hands right here. There we go. Got that. So all of this saved me from taking the fan out, which is not easy. So now we have nothing. Uh, set this right on side show you this is it and this is what fixes the wobbly uh, the sloppy steering so we are gonna do that uh, look what I found here <laughs> It's kind of rusty, huh? Okay, so yesterday I suffered to remove, I took the radiator out of uh, Thor. You're going to see that in another video. But um, there is one connector, one connection that is the uh, transmission. So the transmission connects into your radiator and you need to unplug that. And it's not just a screw that you just take it out gonna show you in a minute so you need a special tool because it's a self latching pipe or something like that uh, like the self connectors for the compressor it connects but once it connects you can't disconnect because it has got sort of clamps inside and you need a tool something like this uh, I found this here on my box it was just a, a little piece of plastic and what I did was I got a screwdriver and cut it open uh, almost all the way both sides but one side I cut it open and we are going to use this to put in there and uh, remove it let me show you I'm pretty sure this is pretty cheap but I don't want to go out and buy anything I don't want to I don't want to go out I want to do it now so you push the pipe inside get your little thing it's good if you have a piece of plastic like me that has a little lip in here and then you push it now i'm there and i just take it out done boom okay so this is the part how it looks right so that was the screw and this part here has this groove in there i think you can see right here right and that groove is the same one that I have on my radiator here. So that pipe now can just click in here and it's going to have the same effect. How does that look inside? Look. See those clips? So you need to push something in there that those clips uh, move out of the way. So now we are going to, with one hand, connect that into our radiator okay I'm holding the camera and click now it's clicked okay so last night was too late and I had uh, trouble that I couldn't see anything and I didn't quite have the tool to remove this one here 
and you just saw that that, that was a transmission fluid and you just saw I just did it so um, we need to pull this case this uh, pipe here and the way you do this is you just screw it's good if you have some uh, Teflon and actually let me get some in there okay so I like to use this here uh, this is actually came when I I bought at Home Depot or Lowe's when I was doing my fireplace and um, if you read this here it says using uh, metal uh, threaded joints of metal and in assemblies handling gasoline petroleum oleum and stuff so and this is good for heat so we are good in here uh, you can definitely use this here and of course you don't use too much because you don't need it you just need a little tap in here so um, there you go just one turn is enough this was very tight already this is a brand new radiator getting tighter let me get the tool tool magic so this is a 11 sixteenths and I'm just going to tight enough It's getting tighter now. And all right. There you go. So now it's tight enough. Now we are going to tighten this up. Enough. It doesn't need to be very, very tight. Let's go to the other side. I'm just gonna point the camera so we don't need to go all the way over there to see the screw being tight. Yep, very good. Now we have, where's the other one? Here, there's this big one that goes right here. I need to put that clamp in there. Um, there is this other one down here. Can you see? Yep. Here. There you go. I also need to take the clamp out of there, make it proper, properly assembled. All right. So this one is a little stubborn. I need to move this guy. So what I'm gonna do is use my best friend, the Mr. WD-40.
that thing anymore. And okay. Looks like we are cooking. I'm gonna put some more water. Just a little bit more. I wanna be sure that the whole system has water. There you go. Hose is out. I'll need to uh, undo this. Let me use two hands. Okay, so since the engine is running, I didn't want to risk uh, put the camera anywhere uh, or do something stupid. The water seems to be fine. I'm gonna shut it and and that's it. So the radiator is replaced. You see that everything is in place. We didn't put the. Uh, the cover but what I am going to do is you need to remove the fan uh, if you're gonna do that I do not care so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut a little space in here and so the fan can go in and done I don't think it is it matters so that's it all right so the fan blades they go right here on the bottom right that's where I want to have the open so I'm gonna do like a cut in here and one in here like this is good Okay, let me try to show you there. I did this. Took this much from the bottom into this marks here. This and then the other side. And now we're going to do the same thing we've been doing. Try to put in there. Just be careful so you don't screw your uh, fan and your radiator and remember to take those screws out of here before it turns impossible um, so we have one right here there's the bottom one I just put there to get secured Ooh. and the camera gets lost Here, where's the other one? Oh, down there. So we need this because the water and uh, the um, washer fluid, they attach in here. So, all right. Now we go full on. Right there. Be careful with your fans, fan blade. And one that to get screwed. And now we are going to put these screws again. I hope you can see here. Right there. Drop. There you go. 
So we use the 10 millimeter in here, which is this one. All right, and just as a bonus, we're going to paint this like I did on that one. So I have a 1500 grit. carmodsgarage.com Later.